Hello. Hello. And welcome to McNulty's on Movies. Woo. We're doing uh, part of a series on the, uh, the Oscar nominated or close to it films yes. um, from the end of 2015 in the run up to the McNulty's at the end of whenever we decide to do Our it. Our version of the Oscars. Yes. So today we're doing The Hateful Eight. We saw it on the road show. You can see the thing that they gave us for it. Um, and they showed it in film and it was like a big to do with the intermission. It was. was there was actual intermission. Yeah. Like old um, school. Yeah. Our friend Kyle went to like go get popcorn in yeah. the middle. And we just kind of sat and hung out. It was cool. Very, very neat. Yeah. So what did you think of the movie? Well, I didn't really know anything about it going in. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. So I, I can't remember if I had even seen previews. I, th I think I knew it was like snowy. Uh -huh. um, but I didn't. It is not what I expected. And... Uh, I think it's probably, I really like Pulp Fiction. Yes. That's probably still my favorite. I don't know. This is probably a close second. Yeah, um, this is really good. Really, really well done. Really insanely good characters. Mm -hmm. uh, the acting was incredible. A lot of, uh, I really liked the, the sense of place you got from. The, it really felt very bitter cold. Yeah. Uh, I think that was really I wonder cool. if you can see this picture. But they like filmed. Yeah. Like, the snow was, like, I'm sure maybe some of it was fake. I don't know. But a lot of it was real. Yeah. Um. So they were actually really cold. Yeah. Maybe that's why the acting was so good. Yeah, I thought it had a really good sense of pace, especially with the intermission and everything was really um, well done in terms of it. It almost became slowly became different movies over the course of its acts. How long was it? It was like three hours. It was almost, I think it was almost three. So it was very long. And normally, yeah. I, maybe it was the intermission that helped. But also, I just think it was the type, like you said, like the type of movie it was. But I I wasn't like itching for it to end. I yeah. could have kept going, probably. It um, almost felt like a TV series. I felt that sort of engagement with the characters where you kind of, okay, you're getting to know this person. You see them in one situation, and then you see them in a different situation and see how it, you know, changes and evolves and introduces new characters and how they react to that over the course of the film. Um, I thought that was really cool. I thought Channing Tatum was great in it. Right. Channing Tatum's yeah. small part mm -hmm. um, was pretty awesome. Yeah. I also like the way that it played with the idea of, um, like, Reservoir Dogs, you know, also stays within, like, one... I don't know she doesn't like I that, don't like that movie. It's a great movie. Um, stays within one location and... You know, just the characters, and you're just watching them interact and coming and going. Um, but a very condensed cast. And I like the way that The Hateful Eight uh, doesn't follow that exactly, but still stays within that spirit and kind of elaborates on um, those events and shows you the, more of the wider scope around what's happening, whereas Reservoir Dogs obviously feels very constrained um, kind of because it was his first movie. Um, yeah, I definitely liked it yeah. better. It's, I, to me, it was like what Reservoir Dogs was trying to do, but like made sense to people like me. To yeah. my brain. I also liked how it, over the course of the film, like some events which seemed very pivotal at the time, it would like shift them up or down in importance as you understood more or less of what was going on mm -hmm. in the film you would have to recontextualize older events as to, is this really super critical? How important is this character? Are they a major like, are character they or even are they important? minor? Yeah, exactly. Um, and I mean, there weren't that many characters. Yeah, exactly. But it's, I think it was just so, I, I had no idea. I don't want to say I had no idea what was happening, because I did, mm -hmm. but I had, he was almost, you know, Colin and I have this game called The Resistance. You're always trying to figure out, like, who the, the person in the group is, this, uh -huh. this spy. And that's what the movie felt like. The yeah. whole movie. You're trying to figure out like who it is before whatever. I don't want to say yeah. too much. But yeah. it's very good. And um, Tim Roth. Yeah. I just wanted to honorable mention him. I'm yeah. a really big fan of Lie to Me. Bring it back. What? Hmm? Um, But he did really good. Yeah. I also like... Everyone did really good. Because Tarantino cameos in all of his films... Right. And so I was like, how are they going to work him in there? And um, it wasn't like clever necessarily, but it fit really well. 
to use him the way that they did in the second. Well, the movie has been like eight acts, but the second it would normally be the second or third act of the movie. Very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Um, and then I have one fun fact to share. Oh, really? I do, What yes. is your fun fact? My fun fact is um, Kurt Russell, who mm -hmm. is John Ruth, mm -hmm. um, in the movie um, Let's Daisy Domergu play mm -hmm. uh, that guitar, that small guitar, for mm -hmm. a while and sing. Um, and then he gets mad and he takes it and he smashes it. Um, not to ruin anything. So they had borrowed an authentic guitar from a museum. Like a 150-year-old guitar? Yeah, a very nice, like, on loan from the museum. And they made lots of copies of it, like prop copies. And somebody didn't communicate to him that they were supposed to switch them out before he smashed it, and he smashed the real one. That's so nice. now the museum won't ever loan anything again, and they're, like, deeply distraught over it. That kind of sucks. So, um, anyway, like, her expression, Daisy uh -huh. Domergue, is, like, real. Because she's like she knew, like, he had just smashed the real guitar, so... <laughs> Again, that's why the acting was so good, because it was real. Yeah. So overall, we like this film quite a bit. I would be interested to hear thoughts on it. You can leave comments or whatever, uh, especially if you didn't see it in the roadshow, um, to how that impacted or, your yeah. feeling on the movie. I assume they showed the intermission or at least told you when it was, but uh, what you thought about that. Yeah. Right. Also, shout out to the Penn family. Oh, yeah, our Thank biggest fans. Our biggest maybe fans. our only fans, but we love you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, this is a hate flight. We'll, we'll follow up with some other movies uh, soon. Bye. Bye.